Hello again YouTube. So this is my second video. My first video I was not too happy with because I was like all over the place and I wasn't speaking loud enough. So hopefully I'm speaking loud enough and looking at the right video and I'm not looking all over the place. Although you will catch me looking over in this direction because that's where my children and my husband are who are sleeping. And anyway, so I decided that I wanted to do a um, like video vlog of, or not vlog, but like my beauty favorites, not of what I use every day, but my main favorite things that I enjoy using. I have a whole stack of stuff over here. Again, I'm, I'm new to this. Um, I'm still not sure how to edit or add my picture. <laughs> I am, um, I don't even have like a Facebook or a Twitter account or um, what do you call that the picture thing anyway so I'm still new to all this stuff but I would like to get the feel of everything and, and get better at this and and just become really good at what I want to do because I enjoy watching these videos and I want to start enjoying making them so I'm gonna start with um, my perfumes I'm assuming maybe like after I do like my favorite beauty products maybe I can do some of my favorite cleaning products I apologize once again if this video was like boring or lingering or, or it's not the right way. But I promise you all I will get the hang of it. Promise. And I will remember to blink and breathe this time. Because <laughs> I know my last video I was like, oh, not blinking. Anyway, okay. So I have a perfume and um, purse fetish. I mean, and makeup and everything else, as most girls do. But I have multiple perfumes that I've been blessed to accumulate over the years. But I'm going to show you my... Most favorites that I cannot live without, I will start with my Armani Code, and um, I, I love it. It has like citrus and floral and vanilla in it, and it's one of my favorites. So like, I know you can go to Ulta or Macy's or, you know, any of those stores and get like a sample and smell it. So this is one of my husband's personal favorites. I do wear this on most date nights or if we're just at home and I want to like feel sexy and pretty. Um, I definitely use this since it's one of his favorites. I also know that um, from watching other YouTube moms, like I don't know if I am supposed to say that I'm not affiliated or selling or working for the name of the um, products that I'm advertising. So let me just disclose that now. These are all my personal favorites. I am not selling or I'm not a, a distributor or anything for any of these products that I'm advertising. So hopefully I'm not doing anything wrong. Again, second video, not sure what to do. Um, so you two people, I'm sorry if I'm violating the rules. My second is um, Burberry. And this one, I know Burberry has multiple. This one's Burberry London. And it's really hard to find. Ulta and Macy's do not sell it anymore. I actually got this from a perfume store. But I also do know, like, when I say perfume store, I mean, like, one of the low-end, like, cheapy stores that sells high-end perfumes for a lower cost um, and I want to say the name but I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say the name so I'm not gonna say it but I'm sure everyone knows if they go to the mall and shop that they have like the low-end discount perfume stores but they also do have this at um, like your local drug stores uh, like Walgreens and stuff like that too so this one's Burberry London and um, it's very uh, how do I describe it it's like a spicy floral I don't know one of my faves. The other one is my ultimate favorite. I've been wearing this since high school, which was kind of a long time for me. This is Romance by Ralph Lauren. It has a lot of citrus and floral with, um, again, more spice. It's not so much spice, but just like a little bit of a kick. Again, all of these perfumes, you can totally go to any store and smell them. And then I absolutely love 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 this one this is more like of a vanilla spice okay I keep saying spice more of a vanilla floral I don't know I I really recommend anybody going to do smell this again these are this is the one that you can get you can't get this at Ulta any local drugstore and then one of the low-end perfume stores um, in the mall it is Jessica Simpson fancy love she has a few of them this is my ultimate favorite. I will wear this anytime, any day, every day. And I don't like to smell the same way every day typically. I will smell like this every single day. I really wish that I could like make a um, smell video 
soon, I'm sure that'll be coming with all the technology that's in our world. And then um, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Um, this one is a little similar to the Jessica Fancy Love because of that vanilla smell. But it's really good. You can tell that it's like gone. Like I'm saving it for like a really special occasion. Okay. I'm really nervous doing this. Hope again everyone forgives me because I'm still fresh. Give me like a month. I don't have it down. Okay. And then this is by, again, I don't mean to say the stores. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I'm nothing. I'm not selling for them. I just shop there and I enjoy them. This is from Victoria's Secrets. This is a, um, this is in the, there's different scents. But this is in coconut mango, and it is a shimmer, a lotion shimmer. So like a self-tanner kind of, but without like the orange and staining where you have to wait to air dry and get dressed and wash your hands. It's a really good shimmer for your legs. It makes your um, legs look like you're wearing nylons, and it's really pretty. And you can put it anywhere, here, shoulders, arms. It just makes you feel pretty and shimmery, especially if you're having like a not-so-confident day. This will quick out of the shower lotion moisturize make you feel pretty and shimmery and then the second one also from Victoria's Secrets is this pink it's warm and cozy and it does the same thing as the other one does but this is a little more thicker and it gives it more uh, but that one's more sheer this is more thicker so see I don't even know if I was showing it up high enough with all the other products I just realized that now but yes this is one of my favorites Okay, um, for my face, I have used multiple face products, and um, I'm all about like getting rid of dead skin cells because I feel like the more that you exfoliate and get rid of them, the more um, smoother skin you're going to have, the less aging you're going to look, and then it also helps with um, acne. Believe it or not, I have struggled with acne a lot, and um, I firmly believe if you wash your face, you know, once or twice a day depending on your type of skin type because if you're too oily or too dry washing it once or twice or twice a day can be like too drying out but anyway um, Clarisonic my number one product I know there's multiple new Clarisonics I am a full-time student like I said I can't afford to go out and buy the new ones but this one works good and there's a lot of um, different brushes that you can use this one is not my favorite it's one that I tried it's like the dead skin it's like the most tough one um, but I like the regular one and and once I purchase it again I'll, I'll be able to show it but this one works good but it just it feels a little rough for me but my daughter and I shared this one so it's, it's good it's good if you've had a long weekend or if you didn't wash your face for a night or two or whatever which I don't recommend doing but um, it's just it's really good to get rid of all the dirts and exfoliate like I said exfoliation exfoliation is the best 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 thing to do going too fast <laughs> okay um, nighttime cream I love Lancome I can't always afford it but it is a really good thick night cream and if I can't afford a day cream, what I do is I'll put this in the morning and just, you know, a little bit on the palm of my hand. And I'll add a few drops of warm water just because warm water, hot water opens up your pure, your pores. And, um, and I'll use it as a day cream before I put on my makeup. I, as a makeup artist, moisturizing, moisturizing, moisturizing is the number one main key before applying any type of foundation, powder, anything to your face you have to moisturize so this is a good obviously night cream but if you can afford both as I sometimes can't you can use this as a day and night well basically any night cream you can use as a day cream as long as you add a little bit of um, water and there's some also some other oils out there like vitamin E oils where you can drop it in with your night cream and thin it out and it'll work great okay and then um, as for another moisturizer and stuff like that, I love the Meanful Beauty um, Cindy Crawford. It is, here we go, a great, you know, it's not low end, it's not cheap, but you have really good payment arrangements to, or payment options, excuse me, that should I say, that you can make and you get a lot for your buck. And I did not bring out the whole thing. I do have the whole, like you can customize your order, which I've done. So I have like the capsules and then the bags, because you can tell that I'm a 
detox because I'm old. And then there's like um, the cantaloupe one serum where it makes your skin look really bright. And believe it or not, again, I'm not advertising or selling for them. Since I've been using Meaningful Beauty, I've been using it for about eight months or so. My spots for my acne and even my, um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I have freckles. They have smoothed out so much and it's amazing. I love it, love it, love it. And I think that I brought out another product from them. Oh yeah, right here. This one has three different creams in it. So it has like a serum and two different creams. And obviously I'm really nervous still and new to this. I will be more prepared, I promise. Um, so maybe next video or if anyone has any questions, I can go and get the pamphlet and read to you what exactly is in all of these and maybe bring out the whole package. But I do love this. It's one of my favorites. Okay. On to my favorite, which is makeup. Um, for the last 12 years or so, I've been using Clinique um, for pressed powder. I don't personally like liquid foundation. It looks too cakey on my skin, personally. And I don't like that cakey look. Plus, I'm always in a rush. Anyone knows, I'm always running late, I'm always rushing, like, go, 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 go. So, to be able to um, go and use a pressed powder, not even the loose powders. Again, I have nothing against loose powders, nothing against liquid foundation, each his own. But for me personally, pressed powders work really, really good because I can, in the car or in the morning, just get it done really, really quick. And um, I use 128P, which is a really good color. Um... Ooh, this one's a little, I don't know if you can see it, not too much, but okay, because I have it in the crumbs. But anyway, I've been using this for 12 years plus, and every time I go, they're always sold out. And it's really discouraging and really frustrating because I know that you can order it online and you can call and order ahead or you can order from another store, but I don't have time to do that. I don't have time nor to have the gas. So unfortunately... For the third time in a row each month that I went to Clinique, I'm not just in Clinique. I love, love Clinique more than life itself. So don't get it wrong, please. But for my particular mall and my particular area, it's not like the craziest, busiest. My store doesn't always have a good full supply of that. And because of that, I had to go over to Estee Lauder. And actually one of the other fellow YouTube moms I've watched, she bragged about um, Estee Lauder. And, um, but she was talking about their, their liquid. So when I went over there, I brought up the liquid foundation that I heard about it and I asked if they had it in powder and they did. And I found it, this one and it's double wear. And if I can give a shout out to still glamorous mom, cause she's the one who talks about, um, double wear, but she likes the liquid. I love the found or the pressed powder and this is my second purchase. The first purchase was a little darker than this because it was during the summer, not a tan. Now that we're going into fall, I am wearing ivory beige, which is strange. So, and, and I guess I could do a little swatch on this one since it's not in crumbs like my Clinique was. Oh, and this, this does not come with it. This is from Clinique and I love this sponge. I know my lighting is not on, Oh, see, I don't know. You can kind of see right there. My lighting, everything is not quite up to par yet just because I'm still new at this. I, I'll get it. But hopefully you can see it. And it's my favorite, and it helps get rid of shine. I'll have to put a little bit of my nose and my forehead because they look a little shiny. Pretty? Okay. So, yeah. So, I again, I love this. I recommend it to anybody, especially if you live in a really cool store that's not always out of things. But... Um, if you want a, more of a coverage, because this does give really, really good coverage, but it doesn't last as long as this. And I also, oh, here. And I also was told by Estee Lauder that they were the mommy of Clinique. So here's the mama, and here's the daughter. I call them sisters because they both equally work almost as well, except this has a little more coverage. It's always in the stock in my mall, and it lasts longer. So this is my second purchase of this. It's not to say I'll go back to Clinique, but right now I am loving this. Either one of these I recommend, and I love them both. Um, again, this is Clinique Perfectly Real Makeup, 
and then this is um, Estee Lauder's Double Wear. Cool, cool. Okay. Um, I go both high end and low end, so I don't discriminate from drugstore to uh, you know Macy's or um, Nordstrom's or whatever. I will do say though, I do prefer the face products at a high-end store because I have tried like Revlon's and other stuff when I was younger and then like when I didn't have so much money you know in between like my plenty of purchases like as a grown-up I did buy like other um, drugstore Walmart products for my face for the powder and, and, and it didn't work as well so that's probably the only thing that I would say that I personally purchase at high-end stores is my face powder other than that for mascaras lip glosses lipsticks eyeliners any of that I, I don't discriminate and I actually prefer I'll just start with NYX um, I have tried Clinique lip liners and uh, Lancome eyeliners and mascaras and all that and I do enjoy them but for the price that I pay compare compared to NYX or maybe it's not NYX NYX I don't know how to say it I actually love this I love these eyeliners and lip liners they last long they sharpen well they don't smudge, like you know, if you wear it long or smudge. Some, um, I'm not going to say which high end, but I there was a really, really high end product uh, eyeliner that I spent $28 on, and it got my hair in my crease. And I was like, what the heck? So, um, my favorite lip liners, hands down, and eyeliners, hands down, is either NYX or NYX. And my lip liners, I say that because I literally, I'm not a big lipstick girl. I do love lipsticks, but because again, I'm always on the go and I'm always giving my hubby smooches and I love to eat, if you can't tell. Um, I don't like to continuously reply my, my lips. And so I use lip liner for all over. So I line it and then I put it in. Like, you know, like I'll do this and then I'll do this and then I'll, uh huh, and put it all in. And lip liners, in my opinion, last a lot longer than lipsticks and then even the lipsticks that claim to have like the long wear they do but they get like all like pilly and they get on your teeth and even with the lip gloss or chopsticks that come with it it's just to me it's not worth it so I love lip liners and eyeliners from NYX and I love lip liners to have an all day not an all day but a good eight hour wear whether you're giving smooches or you're eating like a whole big old jumbo burrito. Okay. Um, Clinique, again, turn everybody. I'm a big fan of Clinique. I don't, oh, sorry, it's blush. I don't discriminate against blushes. I have low end, high end blushes. This has just happened to be my favorite. I purchased this in February. Look, people, February and I still have this much and I wear it almost every day because even when I don't do my full blow makeup, I always put my powder on or my blush on. And if I don't want to put powder on, I always put blush on just to give myself that glow. February, people, every day, we are now September. It's really worth your buck. And then another blush that I just figured out that I am enjoying. This was a free gift with Estee Lauder, which was my second purchase of that face powder that I showed. Um, well, am I really that long into this video? Okay, I'm going to make it quick. Is um, this, I, I, oh, what's it called? Estee Lauder Pure Color Blush. It's in Pink Kiss Satin. It's a free gift for purchase, but I love it. It's It compares to my Clinique. Let's see if I can show. There we go. It's, it's like a pink, rosy color, and I love it. Okay. Um, let's see what else. I'm going to hurry up because I did not think that I was this far into the video. Here's another one. I subscribe to a um, monthly subscription that sends me, like I go on the website and I pick the brands and colors and stuff that I like and then they send me, um, I'm not going to disclose it yet because I'm not sure of the rules, but I pay $10 a month for it and they send it to me in a really pretty pink package. So maybe people know what that pink package means. And it's my favorite and they send me samples or full-blown items of what I what I like and this is one of my favorites this is called um, tints and sass and it's fabulous lip and cheek stain and this works really really good if you're trying to have like a natural night my husband personally likes me with no makeup on I'm a makeup artist and I love makeup so I have to have some sort of makeup on but it looks like no polish and 
it smells really good. It smells like cherries. And it's really liquidy, but it dries good. So it goes on either as a lip stain, which you could put like a base before you put on your lipstick or your lip or lip liner. And then it also goes on as a blush. And you know what? You could even use it as eyeshadow. I would. Like I emphasize like all the time. Okay, let's put that back in. Um, mascaras. I talked about high-end, low-end products. My favorite mascaras are from Lancome. Really good. This is um, the Hip Most Drama. There's a brush. Okay. Easily 30 bucks. Okay. My other one from Lancome is Differentials. I think that's how you can say that right. Hands down, another 30 plus bucks. Love it, love it, but guess what? Guess what's my all-time favorite? L'Oreal. Morris. It does what Lancome does for eight dollars. Eight bucks. Promise. Well, at least in my Walmart. It could be actually six dollars depending if there's a sell or if you have a coupon. Favorite. Okay, I'm starting to rush because oh no for time. Again, I have another one. And then my mama got me this for one of my birthdays. This is from Estee Lauder, and this is, I can never afford to buy it. It's $40 plus, but it works really good if people can afford it. That's not a student living on, like, budget to budget with a family, and it vibrates. People, can you hear that? Uh, probably not, but it, it, you turn it right here. And it vibrates and I don't know if it's a gimmick but I feel like the vibration makes my eyelashes move so it doesn't really clump so really good if you're not poor like me it is called turbo lash all effects motion mascara okay uh, eyeshadows I have multiple eyeshadows that I love I just pulled out my quick one hey let's talk about cheapies love it wet and wild Wet and Wild, promise. Um, without a base, oh, I didn't bring out my bases. You do not need a base for this. I always use a base because I don't like creasing and I like my, my mascara to last. But look, look at this. Look how pigmented that is. This cost me two bucks. It's really good. And like, this is a really pretty color, obviously because it's gone, but I can pull it in the sides. This one right here I use as my base and when I say base I don't mean like the color that makes it you know, like you know when it makes it stick I mean like the all over I don't have eyeshadow on right now I just have eyeliner so you can't really tell what I'm talking about. Ooh, grody it's really late and I'm tired. But look at those colors it's wet and wild it's really pretty. I love it and there's multiple colors. Sorry for the, you know, they're almost all gone. I gotta do what I gotta do to make things last. Uh, Kardashian line. I am one of those people that likes the Kardashians. Sorry. If that makes you one of them, style me. I love my K girls. And their colors are really, really pretty too. Um, I got this at Ulta. I think I've spent $10 maybe. I just did a quick swatch right here. This is just one of my favorite colors. That's why I'm doing it. And then that's the shimmer. And then the good thing about this is it comes with shimmers and then it comes with mattes. So whether you prefer either one or if you're wanting to be more natural one day or go out one day, that's a good one. And then this, these two were like, they were past tense. Um, blush and bronze or contour or contouring, excuse me. And I um, used it all. But this right here is a really good um, base as well and a good highlighter for underneath your eyebrow. Wait, let me see. Maybe I should just switch hands. Okay. Can you guys see that? It's a really good brow highlighter. I love brow highlighters. I feel like they make all the difference. Like to everything, they complete it. When I when I work on my clients, and I complete their eyeshadow with the brow highlighter, it just makes everything pop. No matter what color eyes you have, or what color mascara you're using, or I mean eyeshadow you're using, it makes your eye pop. Okay, 
The other mascara, I obviously I'm a little unorganized, is um, again L'Oreal. It's their new one. I'm sure people have seen it. It's Miss Magna. I'll show you the brush. Pretty. Okay. Let me hurry. Everything is actually really organized over here if you guys can see. Brushes. I have multiple brushes. I have brushes from MAC. I have brushes from ELF. I have brushes from Bella Pierce. These are my everyday brushes. This is a good crease. Oh, I did not get my all over. It's okay. I'll get it next time. This is a good um, you know, thin one if you want to use. I'll show you my eyeshadows. But if you want to make your own eyeshadow or liner out of like loose powders, which I'll show you. Or um, if you want to just put on a thin line or whatever, this is a good one. This is a MAC. This is MAC 223 minutes. I don't know. And then this is an e.l.f. And I love it for my crease. These are both e.l.f. Um, blush brushes. I use one for all over contouring. And then I use this one for my blush. Okay. Lipstick. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of lipstick. This one's really special because my youngest got me this for Mother's Day. It's really, really pretty. I personally like reds and stuff like that. And raspberries, darker ones. So this is one pretty color. This one is from Maybelline and it's called Ruby Star and it's 640. Making me dizzy yet? Ooh, dizzy. Okay. And then, um, oh, back to the perfumes really quick. I brought this out because if you're a perfume holic like me, whenever you go out, I cannot believe I'm almost 30 minutes into this video. Whenever you go out, and I personally always grab the perfume that I spray from the house and I throw it in my purse because I want to be able to spray it again. Like if I'm out all day, I'm always gone. Like I'm always gone. And so I always want to smell really good. And so this one um, I got from one of those cheapy perfume stores I was telling you that's in your mall. And I guess some amazing smart genius house mall or housewife created this. But what you do is you grab your favorite perfume. Sorry that I'm going back to perfumes. You stick it on here and you just pump, 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 and it gets in. Okay, well, I actually have some in it. But it gets into there, and then you don't have to take this big old. I don't know if everyone does what I do, but I normally, again, carry this in my purse. You don't have to do that. You spray it in there, and then it goes into here. Mm. And then you just take this little pretty cute small thing into your purse. And then you can also go to one of your cheapy stores, depending on where you go. Oh my gosh, I have makeup everywhere when I come here. And um, you can refill it with any perfume you want for $10 if it's a perfume you want and you can't afford it at that time. Okay. Um, I feel like I need to cut this video short. I have so much more to show, but I don't want to bore people, or I don't even know if I'm exceeding my time. But... Here's another favorite. This is a um, eyeshadow from Lancome. Ask Lancome, and it's really pretty. It's green. It's a pressed powder. You can use these powders for blush. Not that you'd want to have green blush, but you can use it for anything. And there's different colors. And I have another one that I brought out to show. Um, did I bring it out? Where'd it go? What's a, oh, here it is. I have this one is a blue one. It's really pretty. Um, this one is a really pretty pink. And this reminds me of Max um, Still Life, which is a paint, which you can use for a base. But this one's really pretty. And this one you can use as a lip gloss or an eyeshadow or a blush. Or, like I said, you could take this, you know, MAC and line it up and... Just do pretty stuff. I don't even know how that looks now, but I just make myself look stupid on my second YouTube video. Or I guess you guys can all see that I am only human and I am not trying to be perfect. Huh? Maybe that'll make you love me more. Okay. I'm going to hurry. Um, skin stuff. Again, Clinique. Told you guys I'm a big fan of Clinique. This is good for your bags. If you're up all night doing homework like me, getting two hours sleep, then taking a little kids to school and then coming home and doing more homework and cooking and cleaning and doing all that stuff. This is perfect for bags. It's a roll on. It's really good. And if you keep it in the freezer, it works better because it, it 
like the hot water for pores, the freezer, the colder this is, the better it works. Okay, um, concealer, I'm just gonna run through it really quick. Um, not high in, I love this one. It is from um, Candy and um, Hard Candy, excuse me, and it's just whip brightening concealer. It's a brush, you turn it, it goes on, you're good to go. More MAC eyeshadows. I don't even know if I showed a MAC eyeshadow, I don't think I did. But they're my favorites. Um, this is a really pretty good smoky one. This is um, Night Divine. It is right here. Really pretty. And then this one is a really good blue. If you want to like color coordinate or just have a pretty blue color. It looks a little more shimmery in my camera, but this is Fresh Water by MAC. Um, e.l.f. Again, I love e.l.f. This is a good moisturizer if you want to be natural and not have any makeup on. It's a tinted moisturizer. It's a really good tinted moisturizer. It covers. It does the job. And like I said, I don't like liquids, so for me to love this, it's really good. Um, lip glosses. NYX. NYX. Whatever. Really pretty, really natural, pink, should I say? My husband likes these colors. I try to wear them with my my NYX and my or my e.l.f. and my blush and this for him because he loves me natural. Another NYX. This color is Moraine. Um, a little higher end. I actually got it on Black Friday, so I did good. This is YCL. It's one of my other favorites. Uh, it's really pretty. It's really sticky, though. My hubby doesn't like this one too much because when we get vessels, which is kisses in Spanish, he doesn't like the stickiness. Okay, and then, um, oh, lipstick, another one by MAC. Rebel. I have used Rebel since I cannot believe, I don't know how long I've used Rebel. It is my ultimate favorite especially during fall not Christmas because I like reds fall this color is the bomb okay and then last but least is my finishing touch this is my daughter calls it PBY because it does a bunch of stuff I don't know anyway it's for your mustache for your eyebrows I personally don't use it for my eyebrows because I don't have a good grip on it but it does it's flexible. Maybe I should turn off the light. See, it moves. But when I say I don't use it for my eyebrows, it's because I can't get, like, without getting the rest of my hairs off. But I love it for my stash, especially when I'm running late, which is <gasps> never. Okay, so I hope that this video is interesting this time, and it wasn't too long, although I know it was long, and I try to go really, really fast and make it better. Um, but... I really need you guys to teach me how to do things. I need I need to learn how to add a photo to my blue little picture thing. And I need to learn how to edit and make music. And I've watched a lot of uh, YouTube uh, tutorials on how to do this. And I've Googled it. But I want to hear from everyone else. Like, I want to hear what you guys do to make your videos better. And what I should do to make my videos better. And also how to edit them. And um, make them cuter. And I also want to learn how to um, do comments like below so you guys know. And I also want to add my email address. Like I said, I don't have a Facebook and I don't have all those Instagram things yet. Maybe the more love I get, I can create it and make it easier access to get a hold of me. But right now, I will work on getting my email down below. If I don't have it down below quite yet, give me a few days to figure out how to do it. I am going camping this weekend, so maybe it won't be this within the next few days but maybe by next week I will try to edit if I can't figure it out tonight and give you guys my email so you can get a hold of me but please leave comments whether you hate it or like it that way I can learn from it and grow or I can keep doing it please subscribe and thumbs up so that I can keep making these videos and thanks for watching and to all my friends and family I love you and um, happy almost weekend okay good night everybody bye